Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to answer the question what is a silt chamber? So if you're a septic tank owner, right, how will a, having a silt chamber benefit you? If you're installing a new septic tank and soak away or maybe you're replacing a new septic tank with an old septic tank and soak away, how can a silt chamber help you? Well, that's what I'm going to answer in this video. But before I explain what a silt chamber is and how they benefit you, let me explain why you would need one, right? So here's a septic tank and here's a soak away. Now, as you know, a septic tank will fill up with wastewater. So there's some wastewater, right? Now, wastewater is made up of lots of things other than water, right? It's got waste in it. That's why it's called wastewater. So in the wastewater, um, you'll have fat, grease and sludge. So you get little bits of fat, grease and the sludge that come into the tank. And these will fall down to the bottom, right? And on the bottom of the septic tank, you'll get a buildup, piles of fat, grease and sludge, all right? So as I said, that mainly builds up on the bottom of the tank. Now, you'll also get other debris from your household waste, such as um, potato peelings, carrot peelings, and um, some of those will float on the top here. You'll get hair, you'll get skin. But three of the biggest unwanted bits of debris are sanitary towels, baby wipes, and nappies. All right, and so even though um, people may be responsible septic tank owners, sometimes they just forget and they flush them down the loo, or they have visitors and guests who aren't, don't realize that you're on a septic tank and they shouldn't be uh, flushed down the loo. So and, uh, nappies and sanitary towels and baby wipes will all float on top of the wastewater. And from there, as the wastewater leaves the septic tank and make it, makes its way into the soak away, because there's a flow, this debris will also leave the septic tank and make its way through the outlet pipe and end up in the soak away. And what happens in time, right, this debris builds up and it will then block the soak away up or it will block the pipe up leading into the soak away. So those are the pitfalls of having a septic tank. So what's a silt chamber got to do with protecting your soak away and the outlet pipe? Well, first of all, let me tell you what will happen when your septic tank and soak away is blocked. Because the soak away pipe and the soak away are underground, the only way to get to them, to fix them, is to dig the ground up. Now you can get dyno rod in, someone like that. They'll charge you a minimum six, seven, eight hundred quid to dig up the pipe and unblock it. Or unblock your soak away but in reality you'll have to get a specialist sewage firm in who will dig your pipe up and the soak away oh man and they'll charge you anywhere from 1500 to two and a half three and a half grand to repair your septic tank and soak away and the rest right so <clears throat> that's option one option two yes you could do it on the insurance but you'll have to wait two or three weeks before they come out to fix your septic tank and your soak away now while it's blocked the water in the septic tank can't go anywhere. So it'll end up filling the septic tank in and overflowing onto the lawn and backing up to the house, which means you won't be able to flush the toilets, you know, empty the bath or the shower or the sinks. And you just have to keep getting your septic tank emptied two or three times a week. Now, where I live, it costs about two, two to 300 pound a time to get it sucked out. So you'll be spending like 400 to 900 quid a week getting your septic tank emptied. So those are the symptoms that will come from a normal day-to-day -day running of a septic tank and with the debris that you've got in it. So how can a silt chamber benefit you? Well, have a look at this. Now, the silt chamber is a special chamber that goes in between the septic tank and the soak away. So the fat and the grease and the sludge will continue to come into the septic tank and over time it will still continue to build up on the bottom or the floor of the septic tank and let's say you're still flushing your nappies and your sanitary towels and your baby wipes down into the septic tank they will still float on top of the septic tank with the other debris as well all right but this is the silt chamber here now the silt chamber 
I suppose looks like an inspection chamber, but it has a difference inside it. It has a stainless steel perforated kind of basket inside. And what happens is all the debris will leave the septic tank. It will then, it then comes into and it's sucked down into the basket here. And it can take a lot, a lot of debris. You know, we're talking about like 10, 20 nappies, stuff like that, you know, 20, 30 sanitary tiles, stuff like that. And um, it, it allows, but it allows the wastewater to come in. It filters out all the debris that shouldn't go there and allows just the water to go into the soak away. So these kind of silt traps are amazing. It's got a little sump at the bottom as well, because some of the water will come through that. But it's like a big basket, right? And they're very, very clever. And what you do is every three months, every six months, you lift the lid up here, I'll put the little lid on, and it's got a chain attached to it. So there's like a chain. This is a chain, believe it or not. <laughs> not the best artist in the world, but you've got like a, a chain and you lift it out. You then tip the debris out into your bin and then just put the basket back in and that's it. So this is called, as I said, a German silt chamber. And they're fantastic. They've revolutionized the septic tank industry because they will add literally, man, 25, 35 years to your soak away. Yes, they cost about 300 quid. Some bigger ones cost four, 500 quid. But if you compare that to having to fork out uh, three, four, five, six grand on a new soak away, right? Or even 12 grand on a new septic tank and soak away because they just gunked up, you know, these are worth their weight in gold. So that's what a silt chamber is and that is how they benefit you. They're very easy to install. If you haven't got one in, I recommend if you're a septic tank owner, you put one in straight away, right? You can find them on, on, on my site, septictank.co.uk. If you're installing a septic tank, seriously, I would budget 300 quid for a silt chamber. And my wife has a saying, she says, for the sake of a horseshoe nail, the battle doesn't have to be lost. And in this instance, if you use that, you won't regret it because two or three years down the line, if you don't use one, guaranteed at Christmas time or something, oh, you've got a blockage or whatever, get the septic tank emptying man out and oh, you've got a blockage and you have to get a firm in and it'll cost, it'll save all that hassle, time and money. So there you go, that's what a silt trap is and that's how they will benefit you. So thank you very much for watching this video today. If you'd like to see more free videos, about septic tanks and soakaways and sewage treatment plants and just go to septictank.co.uk. If you'd like to see more of me and again, lots of free videos and get free help and advice and just go, uh, go to YouTube. I've got a, a TV channel called Septic Tank TV. You can type that into Google if you want Septic Tank TV. And if you subscribe to my Septic Tank TV YouTube channel, you'll have a chance to win a year's worth of free bacteria, which will save you 500 quid, right? Um, well, actually, it's actually three years of bacteria, not one. You get three years free, uh, years free bacteria. I'll get that in, in a minute. It's been a long day. But the point is, you put the bacteria in your septic tank and it'll stop your septic tank from smelling. You normally can, you can buy septic tank bacteria in different forms of it on eBay and Amazon. But this is top quality bacteria. And as I said, I'm going to give you three years worth for free if you want to subscribe to Septic Tank TV. So listen. Once again, thank you very much for watching. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.